it is a great honor to introduce about our study on enhanced breast MRI with diffusion rated imaging for breast cancer detection, the effect of training on the performance and agreements of, spe of specialty radiologists. Diffusion rated imaging is a fast, unenhanced functional MRI technique reflecting water diffusion properties in the tissue. It minimizes cost, reduces examination time, improves patient compliance with MRI, and avoids contrast irritation. The use of DWI as a standalone tool has showed performance of pool sensitivity of 76% and specificity of 89%. Our purpose was to assess the diagnostic performance and inter-reader agreement of radiologists interpreting an enhanced MRI with diffusion using a standardized algorithm for breast cancer detection before and after reader training. From June 2019 to October 2020, four breast radiologists retrospectively reviewed TWMIs. We finally selected 96 breasts of 48 asymptomatic women, mostly composed of preoperative staging of breast cancer. And there were 24 benign lesions and 35 malignant lesions, mostly composed of invasive ductal carcinoma. The virus assessment and lesion types were identified according to four unblinded expert consensus, and mostly cancers were composed of virus category four or five, and masses were a predominant feature among the lesion types. We acquired MRI with three Tesla MRI scanner. The unenhanced breast MRI sequences included DWI with three V values of 0, 800, 1200, and also the ADC map and T1 weighted imaging sequences. The characteristics of stained readers are listed here. The readers were blinded to clinical and pathological information in conventional breast imaging, including mammography and ultrasound and dynamic contrastness MRI. They were all had experience. They all had experience in breast DWI interpretation as a multi-parametric rule, and mostly, at least the readers had at least one year experience in reading breast WMRI. This is the standardized imaging interpretation format used during the reader study. This is the DWI interpretation guideline. So for example, if you find a unique area of high signal on high B value, it is categorized as mass of focus or non-mass. And then you assess the morphology as irregular, very heterogeneous, or overround and homogeneous. And for non masses, it, it's distribution. And we measured the ADC value, and with the cutoff of 1.3, it is regarded as suspicious lesion for biopsy or as a probably benign lesion with a six month follow. And when it shows overround and homogeneous, Morphology, it is also categorized according to the signaling intensity on B0 and also the ADC map, and it is also managed as biopsy or six month follow up or one year follow up. As explained in the figure, we assess the lesion morphology first and measure the ADC values with a cutoff of 1.3. Virus category 1 and 2 were regarded as benign, and, and one suspicious feature was lesion with one suspicious feature 
was categorized as category three, two suspicious features, category four, more than two suspicious, category five. All readers were required to attend two hour unhands MRI interpretation training session. And after five month washout period, they recorded the final virus categories and localization of the detected lesions. We did statistic analysis, we calculated performances, and also we calculated inter-reader and inter-class correlation coefficients. This is the result. After training, there is increased specificity and in positive predictive value and overall accuracy with significant p-values. According to experience of the reader, in readers with one to four experience of the experience and for the readers with more than 10 years, there was improvement in specificity and also improved in accuracy for readers with more than 10 years of experience. The kappa values for inter-reader agreement improved after training with significant value. Intra-correlation coefficient for inter-reader agreement between 16 readers were also improved with change of 0 0.06 with significant B value. This is the positive case. This is a 64-year-old woman with invasive ductal carcinoma in the right breast showing high signal intensity on high B value and low ADC map. This is a benign case. On high B value, the mass signal drops, and there is a high signal intensity on the ADC map. This is the false negative case. This is a very small focus in the right breast. It shows high signal intensity on the AD map, ADC map. It was Dr. Calcinoma in situ. This is another false negative case. It is high signal intensity on all B values, and the ADC map is unmeasurable. However, it's high signal intensity on pre T1, so it was regarded as B9. However, it was invasive ductal carcinoma. This is false positive case. There is a high signal intensity region in the left breast. It shows low ADC map. However, it was confirmed as complex fibroadenoma. So in conclusion, brief training can help improve the diagnostic performance and inter-reader agreement of breast radiologists in interpreting unenhanced breast MRI with diffusion. Dedicated training before permit performing interpretive skill tasks is in course for breast radiologists to adopt on enhanced MRI examinations as a standalone method. Thank you.